Exactly a week to the kickoff of the World Cup, Piers Morgan released a snippet of what is sure to be the greatest interview in the world of football this year. The English journalist managed to not only get Cristiano Ronaldo on the interview, he got the Man United striker to bear it all and it has absolutely broken the internet. The full interview will air on Wednesday and Thursday, but from the snippets that dropped over the weekend, we've already heard Ronaldo take shots at Eric Ten Hag, Ralph Ranić, Wayne Rooney and a couple of execs at Man United. On Ten Hag, he said he doesn't respect the Dutch manager because the Man United coach hasn't shown respect for him either. He also went further on to say that his current boss was trying to force him out of the club, but he wasn't alone in his efforts. He was supported by a few other people high up in Manchester United. Ronaldo claims he doesn't know why they're trying to kick him out, but he just knows that they want him out. And it hasn't just started, according to him, they've been trying to get him out since last season and he feels betrayed. Speaking of last season, remember Ole was sacked and replaced by Ralf Ranić. CR7 had some words to say about the German gaffer as well. He mentioned that it was nearly impossible to understand how a club as big as Man United sacked Ole and hired a sporting director to replace him as manager. He said the decision surprised not only him, but everyone around the world. He said, this guy is not even a coach. CR7 also sort of takes a dig at Ranić's age. He implies that the Austrian national team manager, who's currently 64, changed nothing at the club when he arrived. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner said that the gym, the kitchen, the technology, the infrastructure all remained the same at the club, and they felt like the same things he saw in his younger days when he was 21, 22, 23. Speaking of his younger years, he spent a reasonable portion of that partnering up with Wayne Rooney in attack at Man United, but that relationship has since gone sour. Or maybe it was never even sweet in the first place considering what happened at the 2006 World Cup with CR7's antics contributing to Rooney getting a red card in the quarterfinal game between Portugal and England. Anyway, that relationship has probably gotten even worse following Ronaldo's latest statements on the Englishman, which we have to point out is a response to a few things that Rooney has said about him since he rejoined United last year. Ronaldo says he doesn't know why Rooney criticizes him so much, but he claims perhaps it's because Rooney already retired while he is still playing at the top level, and they're both 37. He didn't mention their ages, but we thought that we should just add that for context. Anyway, Ronaldo decided to get a little spicy with his comments on Rooney. He added, I'm not going to say that I'm looking better than him, which is true. Hmm. But in all of this, Ronaldo's love and respect for Man United and the coach who first brought him to the club, Sir Alex Ferguson, remained unwavering. He said that he followed his heart returning to Man United and also heeded the words of a man who he respects so much. He said Ferguson told him he just could not play for City and he listened. Ronaldo also says he absolutely loves the club and the fans and therefore feels they deserve to know the truth. He said Man United should be up there with Liverpool, Man City and even Arsenal right now, but they've not made any progress so far. Hmm, no progress? Will you say Man United have not made progress since the beginning of the season? Anyway, as we anticipate the full interview, we'll end this video with this quote from the great Ronaldo, borrowing from the great Picasso. The Portugal national team captain said, as Picasso said, you have to destroy it to rebuild it. And if they start with me, for me, it's not a problem. Wow, that statement and in fact the entire interview is huge and will be heavily consequential. Do you think this means that Cristiano Ronaldo has played his last game for Manchester United? Because we don't really see him going back to the club after the things he has said about the coach and the execs. So will we be seeing Ronaldo at a different club after the World Cup? If yes, which club do you think it could be? Get in the comments and share your thoughts with us. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.